is going on lads i hope every single one of you are having an amazing day today we are doing a tutorial on how you can change your logo into like a neon style logo kind of looks like a lightsaber but that's the reason i did it i've basically been redesigning my channel as you can see this is what it used to look like and now it's all to do with star wars so for that redesign i did need to change my logo slightly uh, and we're basically going to show you how you can do that now but before we get started i do want to say this we're not making the logo in photoshop right we're not using photoshop pretty weird right we're actually using after effects the reason we're using after effects is because we're going to use the saber plugin to do this this is also a way you can animate your logo if you want to do that which i guess i'll show you a little bit of but i do want this tutorial to be a, a fast one all right so what you're going to need is you're going to need your logo you're going to need saber it's a free plugin for after effects so it'll be down in the description if you need it it's from video copilot it's amazing uh, and you're also going to need after effects um if you don't have After Effects and you only have Photoshop and you need a tutorial on how to do like a, a neon type logo in Photoshop, I can try and make one. Yeah, other than that, if this helps you, please leave a like, share it about, you know, comment and stuff, but let's get straight into it. All right, so the first thing we are going to do is make a new composition um, and you're going to need it set to your logo dimensions. So for most people, that'll be 800 by 800 pixels, um, but it all depends on, you know, the size of your logo, but most websites want 800 by 800. So I'm going to keep it how it is because I've already done this. Um, and I'm going to hit OK. So right now, the duration is set for five minutes, but it really doesn't matter. We'll change that when it gets down to it. So now we're, we've got this, you know, blank document. We're going to need our logo. So just get your logo and drag it into After Effects. So here in the project folder, we have my logo. Let's just drag it onto the comp. And there it is. It fills the frame, obviously, because I set it to the same dimensions, which is important. If you don't do that, then some of the masks uh, will scale really weirdly. So if you have any issues, try and make sure your comp is the same as your uh, logo dimensions you can actually just drag your logo into a new comp by dragging it from the project into the new comp or the new comp button and then it will make a new comp from that layer anyways now that we've got this we are also going to need a new solid uh we can call this uh saber or neon or whatever you want to call it but this is where we're going to put the saber effect so we're going to go to our effects and presets type in saber and put it on or you can go to uh you know effect video copilot saber whatever works for you and what we're going to do is we're actually going to shut that layer off for now so making sure we have the saber layer selected, we're going to get the pen tool out. I'm going to zoom in here. And as you can see, my logo has three shapes, right? If your logo is one shape, all you got to do is trace around that shape, all right? But for me, my logo has three shapes. It's got the, the top of the Z, the bottom of the Z, and the lightning bolt in the middle. I'm going to have to do three masks for this. So let me show you how you would do that. So let's say this Z at the top, this top part was my logo. All you have to do is zoom in here, press G for the pen tool, or you can click at the top. I've got to get used to shortcuts because my, my bloody middle mouse button doesn't work, so I can't drag across. I have to press H to... No one cares. And what you're going to do is, again, with the saber layer selected, it's important that you have the saber layer selected and not the uh, the logo layer. You're going to select all of the, or, you know, the corners of the uh, logo. So as you see, I'm just moving across, going to every corner, clicking inside. And then when you get to the last one, you can just meet it back up like that. And that's one mask done. So once you've done that, we're going to get started on the second mask. Now, like I said, I've got multiple shapes, so I have to do three masks. If you only have one, that's you done. You can go to the next step. Uh, I guess there'll be a timestamp. Fuck it. Why not? Uh, but also, you can just watch this next part. It's not going to take that long. <laughs> so now that I've done the first shape, I'm going to start on the second one. It's literally the exact same thing. Now, I'm not doing this perfectly or taking my time because I am a lazy son of a bitch. And also, I've already done this. <laughs> it's a tutorial. I don't want it to, you know, take forever. But there you go. That's it. Second mask is done. Now we're going to go to the third one. Do the exact same thing. All right. There we go. So now we've got all three masks. What we're going to do is we're going to turn the Saber logo uh, layer, sorry, the Saber layer back on by clicking the I drop button. Also, I forgot to mention that. So if you want to turn it off, you can just press the I button on the left. That's next to the layer. Uh, but as you can see, nothing's changed. And that's because we haven't enabled the masks inside of the Saber settings. So first off, what we're going to do is we're going to open up the customized core and that will bring up the core type. Now we can select layer masks. And as you can see, it's now made the Saber go around the, uh, the, the mask that we created. However, it's way too bright. We can customize that by changing some of the settings. For example, we could turn down the glow intensity. Well, there you go. There's your neon logo already. All done. Boom. That's pretty much a tutorial. If you wanted to change the colors like I did, I'll teach you how to do that now. So what I did was I masked out all the layers. I duplicated by hitting Control, Control D. And with this new Saber layer, I deleted Mask 1. 
and mastery. And I duplicated again on the original layer. So we have all three masks again. And in this one, I deleted mask one and mask two. So now I've got one with mask one, mask two, and all three. Now we just want to delete mask three and mask two on the original one. So now I've got one with one mask one, mask two, and mask three. Now all we can see is, you know, the, the top layer, mask two. When I switch that off, you can see the other ones. So all you got to do is select the, the blending mode and set them to add. And now we have all three. All right, so this also means now that I have these three masks, I can also move around the layer. Now make sure you don't move the layer around using the arrow keys. The main reason you don't want to do that is because the glow can get cut off. Luckily, we're doing this on a black background, so we'll most likely be all right, especially since the glow already goes to the outside. But uh, what you can do is you can hit M, click on the mask. So let's say we want to move this, uh, this, this Z right here. We can click on the mask, and then we can move the mask around like so by using the arrow keys. So we can move this one down. We can go to the other mask, the top one, and move it up. And there we go. It's now separated if you wanted that look. Anyways, let's see how you can change color. So let's change this middle color. Very simple. Click on the layer that you want to change. Go to the top here, glow color. Click on the, the little color tool. And let's say we want it green. There's your green. Boom. Let's say we want the glow to be more intense. You just move up the intensity. Uh, you can also mess around with the glow bias and glow spread. If you want more of a spread, less of a spread. I mean, look, you can really get like, uh, like, like neon lights looking, looking type of effects, you know? Uh, you can change the course sides. That is how you make a big lightsaber. So if you want to steal my idea, uh, go for it. I mean, I probably stole it from someone. I didn't actually. I just looked at meme videos and thought, fuck it, we can do this. <laughs> Uh, but one thing I do want to say before we end off this tutorial is that you can change the preset here at the top. For example, if we want Arc Reactor, it'll make it look more... L Fuck. I'm not doing this again. But there is a whole bunch of other stuff here. Arc Reactor is a good one that looks kind of lightning. Looks kind of lightning. Yes, someone put that on an inspirational poster. Hang it up on your wall. If you choose Arc Reactor, it'll look a little bit more like lightning. There you go. See, it changes it to that. You can change all, all of your logos like that. You know, all of the, all of the layers. Uh, let's say you wanted them all red instead, just change them all to red as well, just for a bit of fun. Now the cool thing about this is, let's say you didn't want to render this out as a, as a JPEG logo or a PNG logo. Press, if you press space, you can see this is actually animated. Now I'm rendering it in full and I'm recording, so this isn't real time at all. This is rendering all the frames. Uh, but they are animated. All the pre or most of the presets are animated. The original one isn't because it's just a solid light bar. It doesn't need to be animated. But yeah, as you can see, if I press space now, you've got this little little animation. So you can also create like your own intro by doing this. Another thing you can do, which again, I don't want this tutorial to be too long. So this is a quick tip. Another thing you can do is you can change the size, uh, the start offset or the end offset. And if I change that, you can see that the logo disappears and reappears. So you can keyframe this like this. Start offset keyframe move forward a, a couple frames set it back down to zero and as you can see the logo now animates in or that middle part does you do that for all of them you can add, make a little animation cool anyways let's see how you can render this out as a, an actual logo image or uh you know a picture image like a jpeg or a png what we're going to do is we are going to first off trim our comp down to one frame so that's how you do that you just drag this big bar down to one frame we're going to go to composition add to render queue and, well, right now I have that animation on, so I actually need to get rid of that animation by going back to the layer that we animated, unkeyframing it, putting it back down to zero, just so we can actually see the logo. All right, now in your render queue, you want to click on where it says lossless on the output module and change the format from an AVI to either a JPEG sequence or a PNG sequence, or you can use any other, uh, other format, but I like to use uh, JPEG. And I'm going to hit OK, and I'm just going to rename this tutorial logo. Hit save and just click render. And there you go, it's done. It'll, it's pretty much instant because it's one frame that it has to render. It's already rendered that frame for you pretty much. Um, but yeah, that's done. That's how you do it. All right, and there you go. That's how you make your logo look however you want, really. I mean, like, it's the Saber plugin, so you can do a lot with it. Um, and you can make your own intro sequence because it is animated. Now, if you would like a tutorial on how to do that, feel free to let me know in the comments. And please, if this did help you, please leave a like. It helps a lot more than you think. I mean, my, my city tutorial I did 
got a decent amount of views just because people left likes. I mean, you guys love that tutorial. Thank you so much for that. I appreciate you a lot. But yeah, if you need any help with anything else, please leave a comment. Um, and if you have any issues like with this tutorial and you need help with something, please leave a comment on that as well. I'll try and get back as quickly as I can. And if the, if the issue is like really big and everyone's having an issue with it, then I'll just make a whole new tutorial trying to fix that. But I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. I'm excited to see what logos you make. And I'll see you next week with another video because I'm here every Friday.